Hello! Happy Friday! Welcome to the stream. If you weren't here the other day, here's the new additions we added to the swamp. Um, I think I do want to build on a little bit more to the swamp as well, but I'm sure y'all would think that's boring, so I guess I won't do it right now. But I kind of want to give... What I want to do is either make another bedroom onto this or make an upstairs for this as well because I want Barquifa to have her own little suite. Would that bother y'all if I did that really quick? Then we're definitely going over an hour because it probably take me mm, probably like 10 minutes. OG, please build. Sure, do it, do it. Okay, really quick, we are going to build onto the swamp before we start our evening so that uh, excuse me tree i'm not so i want to do kind of a, a similar thing as i did to over here i'm gonna make it daytime so i can see what the f i'm doing so as you can see what i did over here with the swamp is i added on this second story right i added on steps onto the back and so that i could do this like guest suite up here and I think it's probably obvious that Snarl is a bit of a snobby ogre, um, but we love him. Snarl is probably taking over this whole bitch right here, is what I've accepted. And I think that um, Shrock would probably be fine in here, right? I do need to reassign the beds and whatever. But I think Farquifa needs her own room, because she's the only person who doesn't have a room. So, therefore, I'm about to add some steps um on the side of this i am going to move this tree for right now and this one until after i'm done with this just so it's not in the way so here's how we're going to do this same thing as the other thing i'm going to add steps on the outside which is going to look a little crazy at first um we're gonna remove all of this which oh my god the the look at this dirty ceiling don't worry farquifa is there an easier way to do this? Probably, but why would I do it like that whenever I could literally click them all like this and watch them slowly disappear? So we'll do steps. Um, I'll do these. Yeah, this will be cute. It's all coming together. I'm not loving those. That's fine. Oh, the rails are so... This could be okay. Now that little thing right there is probably going to piss me off, but it's fine. And then we're going to bring that in. And then right here, I'm going to build, I forget, how do I do the fence? Boop, boop. Great, great. It's all coming along. Farquifa shit is about to be so cute. Just trust the process. Trust the process right now. Beautiful. And then we're going to do it like this. When did I get this window? Whoa! Look how diddly darn cute that is! I've got to put it on the side, obviously. Um, and then let's give her her door. That's very modern. Wow. Farquifa, we're doing... You remember she is a princess now. Okay, now I gotta add the swampage to the top before I forget to do so. So, uh, shift, so I can add a bunch of it. Yep, that looks wonderful. We just need her, her place livable, okay? So I'm gonna press G to turn those lines off. This is what we have. So clearly she needs a bathroom. Oh my god, Farquifa getting her own little apartment right now. Is this going to be big enough for a full bathroom? Um, no. But we can do something with it to where she doesn't have to, like maybe she has to shower over at her parents, but she doesn't have to, this window is going. Or maybe it does need to be right there. Uh, I guess. Lower that one. Lower that one. Lower that one, okay. Okay, all is well in the world again. And then, like, we're gonna definitely do a toilet and a sink in there, and maybe she'll just have to shower over at the actual swamp. This is really cute wallpaper. This is very cutie patootie! Oh my god, hold on, let me get some lights in here so we can really... Uh, what's that line from Meet the Robinsons? Dim some light on the subject! The only thing about some of these hanging lights, they hang so low. I'm just gonna add some of these little guys in here for now. If I want to do a fancier light, I'll add it in at some point. 
Um, but for now, it's that. And you might be like, that's too bright. You can dim the lights later in the game. But for building, you want it to be a little brighter so you can see what the hell you're doing. Uh, I love how I'm, like, giving a tutorial right now. Y'all didn't ask. Y'all did not ask for a tutorial. Ooh. Now, she does need a bathroom door. So, let's give her one. Oh, so cutie patootie. I love. Okay. Uh, we are going to give her a toilet at the very least. We're just going to do it like that and then do her sink. Um, I like this one. This is really cute. Can I just... Well, maybe a little bit smaller. Do I like this? Do... Adorable! No, the bathroom is cute. This is cute. This is all she needs. That is all she freaking needs in her bathroom. Sorry if I'm taking a long time. My bad. I am close to done. Swear to God. Um, Farquifa is our green bean. So I almost want her to have a green bed. Do we like the green bed or is that too- Ooh, I like this. Now the f***ing issue is always finding some sh that'll match the bed. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I do. I do really like this. And then I will give her another one. I'm not always a big fan of getting two nightstands. I don't know why, but today I will. I'm going to give her a mirror. We could do it over here. We'll do white. And then I need to add some plants in here. Um, Obviously. We'll put you... You need to be a little smaller, but we'll put you over here on the floor cute i am gonna give her a little rug right there too the beige is nice the beige is nice a lamp Ooh, good idea a lamp Ooh, a bookshelf Ooh, a bookshelf none of these are given the vibe i want them to give i think i'm gonna have to do it like this one and just yeah Ooh, hold on. This is cute as shit. I didn't even know I have this. That is quite adorable right there. Let's do her balcony. Um, I'm gonna do some pink out here. Cute! Oh my god, that's so cute. A bench at the end of the bed. Is that cute? Is that cute? These chairs are nice. Where's that hanging? Yes, this so freaking cute and then maybe one oh the mushroom chair stop this is so cute doing some little flowers over here i do eventually want to hang some like flowers and other things all up on this and i'll decorate the outside of this a little bit more I wanted to give her something at the swamp that she would just love. Thank you, Randy, for subscribing. Thank you, Lacey, for the game controller. Thank you, Court, Lisa, Sheridan, Amanda, Pimsky, Um, uh, Thank you guys for sending gifts while I was building and, like, focused in. Um, So, yeah, I hope she loves it. I'm about to assign the bed to her right now. Oh, and she immediately went to sleep in her new bed. So cute. She feels safe. She feels safe. <laughs> Me too, queen. Whenever I get a new bed, I immediately need to nap. Um, Coming into her confident era. We are going to be taking out the brogers. And I hate to wake all of y'all up. I don't know why. Everybody's in the wrong beds, but it's fine. Brogers, wake up. Because first thing I'm going to do with them, since it's not the time to be going to clubs, is I got a new pack today, and they get to try it out first, because I want to see how to use it. So, we're going uh, somewhere I've never been before. We are going, I don't even know how to say this, Batu. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. To gain access to Batu, get in touch with Shaman and drink Ayuskua. Best of luck. Assign NPCs a Shaman. Who is it gonna be? Not me about to make it Doris. Should we make it Doris? F it. Doris, I need you more than ever right now. Get over here. Get over here. This is about to be a trippy night. 
very trippy. Um, Doris is sleeping. Doris, I need you to get your ass up right now. And I've never asked you to do anything except right now. Um, summon Sim by name. I know her name. Doris Reaper. Get your ass over here. She said she'll be right over, as I thought. Invite her in. Doris, we're so glad to see you at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm so happy you're here. She came in looking pissed, too. She said, why am I over here at 4 o'clock in the morning? Because you got the Star Wars juice. Not him being attractive to Doris at this hour. Please, God. Spiritual journey. We need to receive the Ayaha... Ayahuas? Uh, we're going to receive the Star Juice. And I need you to receive it. I need... Where'd she go? Doris, get out our bathtub! Please. Oh, my God. Spiritual... Not... Okay. There are... I feel like I'm already... Why does this feel like a fever dream right now? Why does this immediately feel like a fever dream? Um, Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Waska. She says she needs to... <laughs> <laughs> can we get the juice as long as you're truly ready for what is to come drink it all up now okay you drink did you give shrek some too shrek needs some shrek why do you have three uh shrek has three freaking gravestones in his inventory where did we get these from why do we have three tombstones in our inventory shrek cinderella said y'all are doing what oh my god unicorn farts are you here are you here oh my lanta it's an indigenous thing and it's amazing who do they belong to uh they were like random sims and he can clean <laughs> Um, we need, broskies, we need you to also get this from Doris. Come over here. Receive it. Shrek, you drink yours too. It's the only way we're going to Batu. Okay, you got yours. Drink it. As long as you're truly ready for what is to come, we're ready. We're ready. I did all my chores, now I want to do you. Well, he just drank that shit, so fun. Have fun with that. Um, need to fix the sink. Really, really. Uh, you do love collecting gravestones. True. Okay, I guess y'all can do that while we're getting our stuff. You drink yours. Why does he remind me of Bluey's dad? I can't explain why Shrock reminds me of Bandit, but he does. Dang. <laughs> Not now, Cindy. Okay, now we wait. He feels fine? How are you feeling? I feel like he hasn't had any side effects yet. Can we receive another dose? Because it seems like Snarl isn't isn't having any side effects. So. Can you make the camp smaller? Oh, I forgot that my face was bigger. Sorry. My bad. Um, here, drink this. Okay, drink it. Cinderella and Shrek are upstairs. Oh, they're in the... Okay. Not all. Look at baby slipper shits trying to get her sleep right now. Oh, my goodness. Doris dressed as Santa handing out passports. No, actually. Actually. Everybody's drinking their stuff. Um, okay, he has a moodlet. Eagerly awaiting. Does Shrek have, have the moodlet? He doesn't. He might need a new cup. New family dynamic jokesters. Okay. Shrek, I need you to come down here. Because I need you to get more from Doris now. Don't flirt with her. Good God. Come in here. Receive it. Why do I feel like it's not kicking in for nobody? Doris loves that Santa suit. She does. Cindy, stop talking to us. We're going on this trip whether you want us to or not. Um, Doris, we need the stuff from you. Receive it. 
Snarl, how are you feeling? He just feels fine. I don't know. Maybe after Shrek drinks this thing, I'm gonna see if we can go ahead and go to Batu and book our trip. Um, Doris just came to have a dang bath. Really, really. Is uniform parts okay? She's never not here. She might be spending time with her family tonight. Um, she catches up on YouTube whenever she's not in here. Shrock is overcome with a need to close his eyes. Uh, Shrock? Are you- oh god. Oh god, okay. So, we need to... Close eyes and drift away? Okay? Alright! He's tri- it says he is tripping. Are you okay? It says, Shrock feels as if he's being pulled out of his body and into another realm. A presence of a benevolent entity appears who telepathically communicates that she wishes to guide Shrock around this astral place. Um, let's follow the entity. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Shrock, are you okay? Shrock finds himself outside a hut with sandals outside. An overwhelming feeling that someone sacred lives there takes hold. A much older version of Shrock emerges from the hut. What should Shrock ask him? What the hell? <laughs> um, what is your purpose? Oh my god. The old man's expression changes from a kind smile to a berating gaze. He speaks, My purpose has nothing to do with why you are here. This is a sacred place of self-realization. You are not ready. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, I'm ready to go to Batu. So, let's go ahead and plan this vacay so we can get to Batu now. Take a vacation. Not with all these people. God, no. We're going like this. And then we'll be going to the club later. He is so trippy. He is tripping right now. Oh, I did that before. You're about to go to another dimension. I'm trying to go to Batu. Oh, we have to get it to let us in. Wow. Okay, let's try to close our eyes again. Oh, wait, no. Okay, let's hope for better luck with Shrek or the other one. He's eager. Shrek is eagerly awaiting. Snarl, how are you feeling? He doesn't have any symptoms. Oh my god, we gotta call Doris back over. Doris, come back over because Snarl isn't having any symptoms. You have to turn off face mentals, trippy Batu to go. I don't want to do that though. I want them to go the trippy way. Let's replace that. Replace that. It's not a regular vacation area. I'm seeing that now. Doris is gonna yell. <laughs> She'll be fine. Um, Snarl, come ask her for another dose. We need another dose. We're trying to get there. They the the people told him told uh shrock he's not ready um one must learn to let go in order to break through and he's over here on the bubble blower oh my god he's gonna be tore up he's gonna be tore up my god snarl did you get another dose no he did not oh my god snarl I'm about to, you're about to piss me off actually stop talking to farquifa Cinderella's so worried. She'll be okay. Thank you, Cassie Beth, for disco love. Cinderella will be just fine. Um, beep -a -doop -a -doop. I'm gonna do the crystal shoe. Save and boop. When you're ready to head to Batu, click on your phone and select take a vacation in the travel menu. Oh. 
Interesting. Well, I don't think that's how that works. Oh my god, thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Corey. Thank you, Amanda. It says supposedly we can go to Batu by clicking go on a vacation, but I don't believe that. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, and Piss McGee. Drink your. What am I looking at? Oh. Drink your stuff. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, he's laying on the ground right now. <laughs> oh my god, Shrek's tripping too. Shrek is starting to trip too right now. Who's calling Shrek? PE class. Why are they calling him? Tell her to keep running. I don't know. Who's calling him? Turn. Why are they calling him about Slipper Shit School? Uh, Snarl's got a badonk. No, actually. Thank you, Wendy Lee. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Plum Diddy. Uh, Shrek, are you okay? Oh, and he's getting the spots. My god. It says, it just sent me a thing about we could go to Batu by taking a vacation. I'm not sure if that was a regular game saying that or what. Um, let me try one more time to see if it would let us. Oh my god, thank you Cassie Beth for giving away five subs. That was super generous of you. Thank you so much. Shrock isn't going to make it to Batu. Shrock is going through it. No, actually... Supposedly, we can go now. Yeah, I don't know why the game just told me that we could go. I figured that that's exactly what was about to happen. Not him. Oh my god, Shrek! Now you ripping ass! Shrek might need... Oh, it says time to drift away. Okay, Shrek, you are our only hope for getting there. It is his time to drift away. Hopefully, we make it to Batu this time. Hopefully. Does Snarl have a higher Droog uh, threshold? I think so. Thank you, Libby, for the Lucy the Llama. <sighs> Shrek feels as though he's being pulled out of his body and into another realm. A presence of a benevolent, benevolent <laughs> entity appears who telepathically communicates that she wishes to guide Shrek around this astral place. We are going to follow. Thank you, Erica, for all the crystal shoes. We are going to hope for the best. Okay, so this time we're supposed to say, how can I reduce my ego, right? Right? Or does it change every time? Shrek is basically experiencing my early 20s. Aw, uh, thank you, Megs. Thank you, Lisa. It says, congrats, you're now gaming number 99. Hell yeah, brother! I'm in the top 100 with the cool guys. <laughs> I said, how can I reduce my ego? Oh, man, was I, I was just shocked, dude. If, are they tripping? Yeah. They are. Thank you, yo. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Jenny. Um, as the old man speaks, Shrek slowly realizes his existence on this planet has been extraordinarily lucky. The old man asks Shrek to choose a temporary life to fully understand. Choose between Emma, a radiant six-year-old girl, or Tyrone, a tall, proud black man, he says. Who the fuck are we picking, Emma or Tyrone? 97 now hell yeah brother number 97 all we're missing is a water bottle full of questionable liquid <laughs> tyrone tyrone emma um what thank you amanda thank you erica tyrone of course tyrone tyrone i feel stressed right now about this decision <laughs> We're tripping. Tyrone! What's happening? For what it feels like a lifetime, Shrek inhabits the life of Tyrone. Proudly. <laughs> Proudly doing everything in his power to succeed, only to be destroyed time and time again about instant. Whoa, we are literally, oh my god. Time and time again by institutional racism, he feels Tyrone's pain and suffering all the way up to his deathbed. Oh my god. At the time of Tyrone's demise, the entity shows up and beckons to follow. You're telling me Shrek just had to live the life, what? <laughs> he had to experience his life all the way up until death? He's tripping, tripping. He's tripping, tripping. Okay, we're gonna travel towards the ent entity. 
I'm so sad for Tyrone, right? <laughs> right? Kind of like Doris. No, literally. I don't think this is historically accurate. <laughs> I think you have to turn off face mental. I don't want to turn it off. I'm having a good time. Um, we're going to travel towards the entity. S ready to send Shrek to another dimension? Um, obviously. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Cassie. Um, Amanda, Erica. Um, uh, what did Doris put in that drink? <laughs> we're going. We're going to another dimension. Also, apparently a subwave started. Thank you for starting the subwave. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Jenny and Nicole. Shrek is now invited to the cookout. Oh my god. Thank you, Amanda, for the last crystal shoe to achieve the goal. I appreciate y'all. Um, uh, you can remove the trippy Batu package from the mod if it doesn't work. I think it's working. I think it's working great. <laughs> Um, Juicy Juice be juicing. I'm gonna stop another goal really quick before I read this thing. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do. That one goes on my face, so I'll do this one. Um, welcome to Batu. While on Batu, you will use a different currency called Galactic Credits. And have a special inventory. Don't worry, your simoleons and inventory contents are safe at home. To get started, check your career panel for your first mission to help get your bearings. What in the hell? Thank you, Corey, for the elephant trunk. Our first mission? First of all, I need my brogers here. Um, we can't bring them here? You're telling me I can't make them teleport, teleport here? Damn it. Well, Shrek, you're going on this mission alone. When you come back, they're going to be drunk in the yard, and then we're taking them to the club. Whoa, hold on. Where the hell am I? What in the hell? Oh, my God. We are tripping. We are tripping right now because holy hell. Holy hell. My god. Um, Shrek, I'm not really sure. Oh, we need to open the career. Welcome to Batu. Plan your Batu outfit at the dwelling. The dwelling can be found across from Savvy's workshop in Black Spire Outpost. Click on the highlighted bu building and plan outfit. Oh, okay. Thank you, Rachel, for sending five subs. Thank you so much. Oh, my God, look. Oh, these people are serious. They got pow pows. What the hell? What? The, where do I plan my outfit? Where do I plan my outfit? Where the hell do I plan this outfit? What did it say? What did that fucking say? Didn't you say you've never seen Star Wars? I've never seen Star Wars. Not a diddly darn day in my life. Where do I plan my outfit? So, this lady? Is it her? <gasps> Look at her face! Thank you, Amanda, for sending a sub. Ooh, we get to build a lightsaber? I don't know! I have no idea! At the dwelling. The dwelling can be found across... From Savvy's workshop. Where the fuck is the dwelling? Where is Savvy's workshop? Where the hell am I? Who the hell is Savvy? Scan it. What in the hell is going on? Thank you, Piss McGee, for the elephant trunk. Um, where am I? Your sim is here. Where in the, oh I just clicked M again. God damn it, I did not mean to click that again. This is great. Why can't you go there with multiple people? Girl, I don't know. Can I ask somebody for directions? Hello, where do I get wait, look at what his thing says. It says first order. T 
TK756. Ask about the resistance. Ask about first order. Ask to see missions. Ask about scoundrels. What's happening? Ask them about the first order, I guess. Whoa. Okay, I've always heard that this pack sucks, but like, um, what are you talking about? This seems fucking awesome. I mean, they don't put us in a whole different world right now. Don't be a first or- oh, I didn't know. Okay, I'm just not even gonna ask, I guess. I'm just not even ask. Um, this is the first order, Lieutenant Agnon. Lieutenant Agnon- oh, thank you, Mr. Keeper, chasing the dream! Thank you, Mags, for the sweet memories! Um, if you are looking to join our ranks, speak with Lieutenant Agnon in the First Order District. Um, I'm trying to find where I change my outfit. So, if you don't mind, I'm actually a little busy right now. Uh, Shipping Manifest, Resistance Schematics, um, all bad guys right now. These are bad guys. Can I... First order. Thank you for the finger hearts. Not Jessica Frost wanting to go on a date with us at Pepper's Pub. Where the hell do I change my outfit? At the dwelling. It says the highlighted building. I don't see a fucking highlighted building. I'm going to be very honest right now. I don't know where I am. Oh. Purchase toys and scrap. Okay, that's the first fucking highlighted building I've seen. I can't do shit. Scan it. Contemplate. They don't understand our priorities. Look at these people! Oh my lanta! Y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where the hell to get this outfit. I don't know where the dwelling is. Order food from Doc Bay 7. What is this? Contemplate. What is all this shit? Where the hell am I? Search that scrap pile, I guess. This seems like a lot of work. I mean, I would not say work. I would say a uh, new territory for me, for sure. Look at all these people. He's in the resistance. What are we resisting? Thank you, Piss McGee, for sending a sub. This is a Batu citizen. Girl, you need to watch Star Wars. Uh, I don't know if I wanna. Um, I guess, uh... I guess let's order some food. I feel like we're in the wrong place. I don't know. Travel with phone to Black Spire. It says I can't do shit. My phone doesn't even work here. At all. Not him laying on the ground right now. We can't even use our phone. What the hell is going on? Um, what if I click... What? You need to be in a different neighborhood. How the fuck do I get there? Because when I travel, it won't let me. It seems like the wrong neighborhood, though. Let's go scan this thing and see if maybe we can travel if we get this thing blasted up. I don't know. I don't know how this shit works. Where are we going? Go home. Don't go home. We gotta find the fucking place. Google says it should have a blue glowing outline. I don't see shit like that. I do see these guys walking around with these fucking... You know, it is kind of interesting that their pow pals match their outfits. I do like that. That is very organized. It just, like, blends in. Um... What is this? Thank you, Stephanie, for giving away five subs and achieving the sub goal. It says this was manifested. Ba 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 ba. Requires max first order reputation. Talk to. I guess we have to talk to this fucking lieutenant guy, in order to be able to go anywhere. 
So, whatever. Let's go talk to him. Let's just ask him about whatever the fuck. We can figure this out, Pixie. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. I can do hard things. Anakin Skywalker was hot in the films. Well, sounds like I'm watching it then. I suppose I'm gonna have to. Look for a circle building with some kind of machine on top. This? Am I stupid or is that it? Go to map for manage worlds. But if I go to manage worlds, we're not gonna be able to travel is the problem. But if I travel, I can't, can we come talk to this man so we can see, come ask him about the resistance. I don't know, who the fuck are we resisting? What? Oh my god! Oh my god, why'd you beat her ass? Her name's Otara Vitor, and this person just whooped her ass for no reason. Thank you, Piss McGee. That was it. Go back. What was what? What's going on tonight, girl? I don't even know. What was what? That vile scum, or the vile scum are definitely on bad too. If you see anything suspicious, report it to the First Order immediately. Report it? Report it? The First Order is a dictatorship. Oh, shit. Not a dictatorship. Well, I guess in that case, should I perhaps discuss suspicious individual? No. Shrek, what are you doing? Mm -mm -mm. I don't know how to get to the other, um, parts of Batu with this mod. I really want to figure out how to make it work. But, um, over to the left. The left of what? Pixie, I love spending Friday nights with you. I love hanging out with y'all. To be honest, I love learning about Star Wars and all sorts of things like that and whatever. What are we doing? Don't worry, Shrek. You got it in you. This is the bad man. Can this guy get off his fucking iPad? Try outside the- Ah, oh, damn it, he dodged it! Fuck! Fuck! He dodged it! Don't worry, Shrek, we can do it again. We can do it again. They say he's the bad man. They say- Not him farting right afterwards and blowing his fart over here. Not him yelling about the fart! Yeah, I know his fart's probably worse than anything else. Come on, Shrek, you got this. You got this. Not him dodging it every fucking time. Ugh, you suck. I will get you. Because you are not about to outdo me right now. Set him on fire. Oh no, don't do that. You gave away your cover in, for in a First Order ran city. Oh shit, not us setting ourselves on fire. What's happening? Hold on, I'll turn off reactions for me. So they're not gonna... Options... Disable reactions for our active household. Great. Um, sir, I'm not letting this go. Try to chat. No. No. I'm not giving up. I don't know how he keeps dodging me, but at this point, if I can't get out of bat 2, I'm gonna at least kill this dude. Not us inside of here. Shrek, go get him! Go get him. Go get him immediately. I appreciate you running when I asked you to. 
Oh my god, Shrek, you're about to piss me off with this aim. Because why is this guy so good? Why is he so good? Okay, somebody said that I saw it. Um, they said to my left. I don't know which left we were discussing. But at this point, I'm ready to figure this shit out and be done with it. All my smart bitches unite. Because how the fuck do I get out of here? Where the fuck is Yoda? I saw the Millennium Falcon. I don't know who the Millennium whatever is. But all I know is, is I'm starting to get aggravated maybe if i try traveling again it'll work there to the left the left oh wait it says i can travel over here oh oh <laughs> i can click them <laughs> do we need to go to this one there in the purple oh, okay things we need to order food from docking bay seven yes it's like glowing blue and then there's this other place to order food from and over here is where we need to plan our batu outfit yes okay oh my god it says, a master of galactic cuisine, Strano Cookie Tugs runs a food fry, fruit, food fryer business that is renowned across the galaxy. He's currently hard at work serving his unique dishes in Docking Bay 7. Interesting! Um, let's get a Mustafarian lava roll. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds yum. This sounds delish. Now, why the hell do they make that so difficult? Why in the far fuck was that so difficult? For no damn reason. I'm having a great time, though. What a trippy time this is. Where the hell am I? Are we invisible? Are we invisible right now until we get our outfit on? I don't know. We need to come plan our outfit, though. I can't see us. Oh, wait, here he is. We need to plan our Batu outfit. Not Shrekunzel calling. Shrekunzel is not a good time. We're in space. Plan your Batu outfit. Why can't he plan his outfit? Freshen up. Plan Batu outfit. She's always calling during a live. No, actually. Actually. New merch drop should include a boys trip shirt. Maybe. Maybe. It says he is using the bathroom. But then afterwards it says we're going to plan our Batu outfit. Um, I need a merch shirt. This is which left is left. <laughs> Oops, I misheard. Finally made it. What are we doing? We are in space uh, with Shrek. We got him high. Well, he's tripping. I don't know why he can't plan his um, outfit. It says that this is already his outfit. Can we change it? I don't know, but it made that little thing go away, so whatever. Um, we can order food from there. There's a bunch of different things to do here. And this is pretty wild, I will say. Um, I do think that this is, seems like a cute little pack. People talk a lot of shit on this pack, but honestly, it's kind of an otherworldly experience here. I mean, look at all the characters. They look crazy as hell. Like, I don't know. I kind of like it. I do. So, let's go ahead and take it back home because um, it's about 9, 18 p.m. So, it means it's about time to go to the club now. Uh, I'm sure Shrek would love to have some woohoo with some of these aliens and whatnot. But we'll have to save that for another night. <laughs> Recap, we lived Tyrone's life, went to bed too, got lost, pew pew to a random guy. Yeah. I wonder if you can woohoo them. I believe you can. Sparkly texted him. Yeah, she was saying something about slipper shits. Um, why does my arm hurt so bad? Oh, probably from jujitsu.
You gotta do some breed out challenges with those characters. It's time to go to resand. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, sir? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case. We need merchants on a swamp far, far away. Did he have money? He had a little bit of money. Um, oh, also in this live, we have, oh, let me assign people their beds. Um, assign right side of bed to Shrock. And it says the left side of the bed is assigned to Lord Farquaad. Uh, let me, actually, I'm just gonna replace this bed so it doesn't say it's assigned to Lord Farquaad anymore. Um, really quick. Yeah, it's fine. So we'll assign the right side of that to Shrock. Um, and then up here, the bed is assigned to Farquifa. Look at Farquifa's new room. So freaking cute. I love it. I love it. So adorable. Um, and then this bed, we are going to assign to Snarl. Oh, not Cinderella. Snarl. And then, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Megs, for the elephant shrugs. Um, This bed, we are going to assign the right side to Shrek. And we will assign... Oh, I just rose to gaming ranking number 94. Um, Let's do... Assign the left side of the bed to Cinderella. And then we are going to assign this bed to Slipper Shits. I think that will be everybody. Yeah. How's the other guy hitting the bubble pipe? Is he okay? Thank you, Amanda. Um, you talking about Shrock? Uh, he's looking pretty good now. He's looking good. Great. Just in time to go to the club. Should we go to Far, Far Away From Your Wife or the Black Pearl first? Which one? Anyone else lagging? If you ever experience a lag, I would recommend leaving the stream and coming back in. Um, also, thank you guys for 31,000 likes. Oh my god, thank you, Brittany, for five subs. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody say the Black Pearl. I am wearing my Black Pearl shirt, so what a great choice to go there first. Um, oh my god, I can't believe we are nine away from 1,400 fucking subscribers. That is insane. Absolutely crazy. I didn't even have 500 subscribers a few weeks ago, so that is just diddly darn fucking crazy. Um, Shrek is still tripping right now. But I think it's okay. To the Black Pearl we go. I'm wearing my tie-dye one. Hell yeah, brother. I am sad that this merch is going away in a couple of weeks. But I'm excited for the next merch that's coming. Um, you guys know I get excited for my merch drops. Uh, and this was a great merch drop. But I am excited for the next one as well. We are taking with us Snarl, Shrock. Who else am I bringing? I want to bring, like, Grimace. You know what, actually, what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a group really quick over yonder. We're going to start a cl a clerp. <laughs> uh, Broger's Night Out. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and we are going to do a... Invite only. The picture is going to be, I guess, this bear. In it, we are going to add Snarl. Um, why does it say he doesn't know hardly fucking anybody? You know, whatever. Whatever. Never mind. We're just going to travel with them. My tapper is tap, tap, tapping away. Um, will any of the new merch be 5XL? Some of the merch I have now goes up to that size. It just depends on the actual product. Some of them they can make um, all the way up to 5XL, and then some of them can only go up to uh, like a 2X, I believe. Um, so I don't know for sure which stuff is which off the top of my head, but short answer, yes. Um, where is it about to go? Oh, over here. Invite Grimace, you know Spark Plug will be there! <laughs> she'll probably be at the fuck. Yeah, literally, she'll be at the club anyways. Snarl! And Shrock, we're going. I'm excited. I'm excited. This live has been all over the place. I love it. Thank you, Crystal, for the hat and mustache. Um, I don't think Ogliana wants to go out with them, to be honest. I don't think she wants to. Thank you, Sarah, for subscribing. 
or um resubscribing either way mm, i love fridays so fun so fucking fun also i can't get over this loading screen we have arrived at the black pearl uh full squid squidward's ready to go full squid you look great honey you look absolutely fabulous um everybody we need drinks I don't know who's bartending, but you know what? Uh, Shrock, why don't you just go ahead and make drinks for everybody? Go ahead and make everybody some some IPAs. Why not? Why the hell not? He's making their drinks. I'm excited for this. Boys, put your good time pants on. <laughs> um, you're supposed to be working, Squidward. You are supposed to be working, full squid, Squidward. Go ahead and drink your drink. Um, come drink your drink. And then Shrek, you come drink your drink. Shrek is still tripping. Not him coming in in his bathing suit into the club. Thank you, Randy. Uh, beer bros. I used to drink a drink, or I used to drink a drink with Mountain Dew, orange juice, blue, curacao, and Sprite. What's that called? I feel like there's a name for that, and I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm going to give them a little bit here at the Black Pearl, and then we'll be going to far, far away from your wife. Um, drink your drink, Shrek. You don't have to do that one. You could do this one right here. Everybody get drinking. Not Kronk. Ursula. Cute. Oh, Farfunkalus. Look at fucking Kevin Ball being like, okay. Look at Farfunkalus on the pole. Your gaming number 94. Slay. Um, oh my god, I'm here. I'm here. Not, of course I'm here because fucking, wow. Of course, because Kevin Ball is here. Now Pixarella has decided to show up. Hey girl, good to see you. I don't usually see you out in the, in the wild. You're usually in one of your mansions all holed up. Um, uh, President Pixie! Yeah, President Pixie making a fucking appearance! What an honor! <laughs> Your dress slays, President Pixie. Thank you! Thank you, Amanda, for the crown! Her walking in, looking all cutie but you Oh! Look at them! Slaying- Where'd your other half of your ass cheek go, Voltanessa? Is it just me, or did she lose half of an ass cheek a minute ago? Look at all of these people coming and talking to President Pixie. As you should. On the hunt for another hubby. <laughs> Girl managing the Black Pearl. Um, They're feeling a little drinky poo, but it's fine. Are you hitting on... Oh my god, he is. Not him flirting with full squid squidward. Thank you, Court, for the flower crowns. Oh my god! Now, Unicorn Farts is not gonna like this later. Unicorn Farts is not gonna like this. But you know what? If you gotta get your full squid in first, I suppose. But I just feel like Unicorn Farts might be in game. Um, let's do, uh, oh my god, wow. I wouldn't have thought that you'd go for squids. But you know what? That's absolutely fine. Let me make sure, don't piss yourself, girl. Shrock saw the Patreon post. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing bites. <laughs> Literally. Oh my lanta! Who's he attracted to? Apparently this damn squid. Not the beak! Not the fucking beak! Oh my god. Poor boy, he's still loopy from the- Yeah, literally. Why don't you come order another drink, Snarl? Yeah, Unicorn Fries is not going to be happy about that. He's still over there flirting with Full Squid. Um, Dane Swamp, are you okay? Dane? Are you cracked out? Oh, God. Oh, God. Where'd he go? Did he fall off the steps? Where did he go? Um, I'm sorry. Where did our crackhead just go? I've lost a crackhead. 
Ursula's naked on the dance floor. What in the farfunculus is going on here? Can Snarl scope the room? Um, yeah. Snarl, he's sitting at the bar. He, oh my god, not full squid flirting with court! Get away from my court! Um, I think it's time to go to- We're gonna scope the room at far, far away from your wife because we gotta get to our second club of the night. Um... Here we are at the club. We gotta wait for everybody to load in. But until- DAMN! They leave this place dirty! They leave this place dirty as hell! Now we don't know- Farquet, what is this outfit you are wearing, girl? We gotta assign them outfits. We really do. Hold on. Mm, assign female outfit. Our swamp one. To all of them. Oh, great! They're in their outfits! Beautiful! You look great! Diamonds, lots. Um, it has been quite a night, but we are now at the- Oh my god, Mama Bear's in it too! Mama Bear? Mama Bear looks good! Mama Bear looks real good! Um, Farquette, we need some drinks immediately. We need some drinks immediately. She's cleaning the bar right now, though. Mama Bear slays! Okay, Snarl needs a scope, but there's not really anybody in here yet, so I'm gonna wait a minute. Here comes Unicorn Fires walking in late to work, but she don't care. She don't care at all. Um, even though you were tripping over a squid a minute ago, I'm gonna blame that on the trippy juice that you were drinking, because your woman is right here. He needs to walk right up to her. He needs to just go ahead and do a bold pickup line on her. Oh, she's scripting. Okay, Unicorn Farts! Thank you, British Center. Okay. Those leaves hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I was catching up on YouTube. Okay. I'm glad you're here now. Mama Bear is taking out the trash. Oh my, okay, I guess I'll get Snarl to scope with what's available right now. There isn't too many people here, but we will still scope. Um, oh wait, that's not. Let's go ahead and... He's gonna throw some dollars at Unicorn Farts. I agree. Let's go, um, tip the dancer. Go tip her. Somebody come tip her. She's dancing like a scrapper. He is attracted to Lola Fish. Snarl literally only finds Lola Fish in here attractive, and let's be real, it's Lola Fish. So, thank you, Court, for the gym gun. Thank you, girly. Um, they're all looking real good. They're all looking real great. Snarl, we gotta get. Oh my god, and the money gun! Thank you, Court! Also, Court, I know I literally already- she messaged me earlier today. Um, I do hope you feel better. I know she was saying she feels somewhat better today, but Court has to work this weekend, and now I'm all worried about her not feeling good <laughs> during the weekend while she's working, because she wasn't feeling good last night if you were here. Um, uh, gotta get those tips for unicorn parts! <laughs> Uh, I really need some sleep. See you another time. Bye, Aurora! Um, Tafiti's over here talking to Puss in Boots. Interesting. Look at Shrek breaking it down. He's still tripping. He's still tripping breaking it down. Oh my god. Look at Unicorn Farts go! Go, Unicorn Farts! Do we need more polls? Nah, it's fine. Because some of them have to, like, bartend and, like, talk to, uh, clients and things like that. Um, now he's over here dancing, doing his thing. I really want Unicorn Farts to kind of stop dancing. Um, yeah, tell her stop dancing. Great. And then let's come over to her and let's, um, flirt with her. See what she says. See what she says. Perhaps. So cute. A lot of workers, not enough poles. Well, they're not supposed to all be on the poles because they're supposed to bartend and also socialize with the um, clients, too. She's feeling flirty now. 
Oh, is she? Because it's 6 a.m.? We're going to Unicorn Farts' house. I don't know if we've ever been to Unicorn Farts' house on the stream before. That comment delayed. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, I passed out to the lab yesterday and woke up on the ground about 10 minutes later. Oh, Lord. Time to drift his drift away. Talking about strike, it's time to drift away again. We ain't got time. We're going to Unicorn Farts' house. Um, Unicorn Farts lives in Hemford on Bagley. Um, I miss so much. My mother in law and sister in law showed up uninvited. Oh no! Uh, Unicorn Farts. She does have an assistant who lives with her, but he'll be fine. Um, Shrek and Snarl, you're not coming with us. We're going with Unicorn Farts to her house. It's literally six o'clock in the morning, but that's fine. Um, we are about to romance the shit out of her and hope that it works. We're going to, uh, ask her a risque question. It says, throughout the conversation, Shrek got the impression that Unicorn Farts finds him quite attractive, making him wonder if he has the right idea. Okay. Thank you, Megs, for the confetti. House tour, please. When they're woohooing, if they get to that point. Yes, do a first kiss with Unicorn Farts! And then do more kisses. Do a... Um... Do a searing one. Do a searing one. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, uh, Lil Simmon, because you literally helped so much with that conversation. I don't feel like his lip, his lips made contact with hers, but, um, whatever. Oh my goodness. Wait, is he asking her to woohoo right now? He is. He just asked her to woohoo. Oh my, I did not do that. They literally did that. I did not tell him to do that. Uh, but whatever. Here is Unicorn Farts' house. Ooh, ah. She lives out here in the country, as you can see. Uh, the sun is bright this morning. Um, the river is flowing out here. She's got this cute little bridge right here. Um, the Sparkle Butt Cafe is right next to her as well. She lives out here in the country. Um, and then this is her house. She lives here with her assistant. His name is Pita Wendy. And when I made her as a sim, I stalked her TikTok account. And like a year or two ago, she posted a TikTok that said that she really loved the Pitas that they used to have at Wendy's. So I named her assistant Pita Wendy. Um, what does this say? It says, Juicy Strawberry. Strock was feeling very thirsty, and this mouth-watering strawberry is just what he desired. Strock is enjoying every moment of indulgence in this sweet, satisfying juice, or sweet, satisfying juice of such a divine fruit. He's talking about unicorn farts. He's talking about juicy strawberry. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Unicorn farts gonna have her own Patreon post. I don't do Patreon posts with people that I make as Sims, um, just because, oh, not Peter Wendy seeing it, you know what, that's his boss, he's gonna let that go, um, and probably, like, friend, too, um, but yeah, just to make sure that I don't make anybody, like, uncomfortable or anything like that, I don't do them with, like, the, um, the people that I base the Sims off of um like how some of the like made up characters i do uh good for you girl unicorn farts right here is her kitchen super cutie patootie in here uh literally he i think it might be her oh she's the one on the ground right now okay you know what and then up here um is really cute one of, i think this is her bedroom and i think well, actually, I don't know. Maybe this is her bedroom and this is Peta Wendy's. I don't know. I don't know. And then she's got this huge pot of macaroni and cheese going all the time. She's always got macaroni and cheese at any time. <gasps> Unicorn fart sparkle ass might now be pregnant. Uh oh! Not Peta Wendy out jumping in the puddles outside. Peta! Oh my god. He's a woodland elf. 
He's so cute. And we all thought it would be Lottie getting pregnant first. Girl, Unicorn Bird's gonna be surprised when she sees this. <laughs> that was not in for the cards tonight. Unicorn Farts, you better not be pregs. You best not be. Oh my god. Oh, she's on top of. On the couch? In that position? Ah! Anyways. Um, and as you can see over there, the rolling foothills are one of the primary reasons people like this landscape to live in, with the fall foliage always looking really nice this time of year. Um, this little community park over here is really nice because you can all garden together as a community um and really just had have Hinford heart to hearts um and whatnot over yonder you've got a pond great for doing some fishing or sitting next to it um over here is where Ogliana used to live with her bitch ass uh oh my god they've got they still have this Wow, he's still alive? I'm surprised that that cow plant's still alive. Hmm. Hmm. As we see nature taking its course, loud mac and cheese course. <laughs> um, the manifesting is real. Unicorn parts just got married and had babies in my game. Really? Um, Shrock is fascinated by the exciting view of a nearby delightfully Nike Sim. Not him fascinated by her right now. I, I, I don't know if I hope that she's, uh, preggy or not. Um, well, that was a fun little, uh, woohoo after the club. I do want her to get dressed. Now, I don't know how you and her brothers is going to feel about the fact that he was, um, making out with a full squid prior to this. Um. Now, Unicorn Farts isn't in my household, so I can't get her to take a pregnancy test. So we'll have to wait to find out if she's pregnant. Uh, they didn't try for a baby, though. They just had some couch woohoo. So I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> Not Squidward Tentacles calling us, asking if we can give somebody, or if she can give somebody else our number. Oh, okay. I am going to go ahead and end this live here. What a fun little Friday night live. A lot happened in this live. My God. Thank you guys so much for tonight, and I hope you had fun. I had a great time. I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend if I don't see you again until Sunday. <laughs> Good night.